I want to bring in Kirk Nurmi now. He's the former criminal defense attorney um, and lead defense counsel for Jody Arias at her murder trial back in 2013. Kirk, um, you have sat in a uh, seat that is rare. Um, when you have a high profile criminal defendant sitting beside you who has a verdict like that, life ending verdict like that delivered, I wanted to, I mean, you, you sort of came to me right away today as I thought, what is that like standing there? I can't ask Lori, um, and her lawyers aren't talking right now, but you've been in that same boat. Take me there. Yeah, you know, I think one thing I can project more into Mr. Archibald and Mr. Taylor, that they probably didn't want to be there, right? And they probably knew exactly where this case was headed. I felt like it all along. We saw the lack of cross-examination. We saw a closing argument well, we didn't see, but we heard a closing argument that was kind of disconnected. So I think, you know, ultimately there's going to be a sense of relief for those people because we can see when we see this image, actually at, at the verdict reading today, we see this kind of disconnect between the two and she's probably mad at them for attacking who she, whom she considers the prophet. So I'm sure really um, they're happy to be rid of her and happy to be moving on because this case has been so much of their life and has cast them in a spotlight they'd probably not rather be cast in. Yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting body language to look at them, uh, you know, face down, hands folded, and um, just waiting for, you know, their personal doomsday, not Lori's type of doomsday. Um, I did want to ask you about the verdict uh, Everybody feels differently, right? Like if you're a, if you're a lawyer who's all about how the case is progressing by letter of the law and code, uh, you might have thought, I did not expect many of those to come back as guilty verdicts. And if you're just, you know, a casual observer and you absolutely cannot stand Lori Vallow, you think, how could they not find her guilty of all six? How'd you how'd you come in on that? Yeah, I really expected them to find her guilty in all six because think about everything that we saw related to the conspiracy and the, the facilitation of the commission of these crimes, right? I, I mean, I, I had some wonder, some questions about as it related to Tammy, how much evidence was there? How would a jury really digest that? But when we think about Tammy in this whole context of thing, it really makes sense that the jury came back the way they did because we saw this overall arching plan of Chad and Lori working together to eliminate whoever was inconvenient to them, right? They had this, you know, Chad, the grave digger, he's going to start this cult and, and retrieve all this money, sex, and power as, as the state prosecutors laid out. And that just fit right into that theme. So it makes sense that this jury came back. I think the six hours or so we saw was probably discussions about particularly Tammy in particular, because maybe there wasn't quite as much evidence related to that, but I never had any doubts that we were going to see the verdict we saw today. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.